we're back. Recommended products. Okay, so anybody that's been watching my channel for a while, you'll have seen this plenty of times actually. It's my uh, trusty fridge freezer that I just love to death. And uh, yeah, so what do I love about this thing? What do I recommend it? Because, well, the thing is with me, I like to take lots of my own food. If you're going on a motorhome trip and you want to take lots of food with you um, and you've got maybe children that need feeding um, I just like my own food <laughs> chicken fish chips ice creams and you can get it all in here so I think this is one of my best ever you're always eating food so it just doesn't matter um you know it's just something that we just always use right and what i'm going to do i'm just going to swing around and just show you my fridge um so everybody's going to say you're on a motorhome with a fridge freezer yeah we are but i'm just going to show you the fridge compartment on this one so i get one sack of ice for my drinks and that basically is full um that's the reason we have that and uh in here you just look how deep this is so this comes in a 35 liter a 45 and a 55 liter size this is the 55 liter size the big one i just went large because basically it just gives you we can and we normally keep this in the um, our motor home garage so it's out of the way in the back uh plugged in um but it just gives you so much storage for that frozen food you can get quiches in there like i say you can just get all your stuff in there like i say if you've got kids and uh trying to feed kids in this day and age now um when you're on holiday and stuff can be mighty expensive they, you know it depends what you want to do if you want to go and live the dream um and uh eat out every night and stuff like that um but if you want to take lots of food with your ice creams that is a valuable bit of equipment and i just we just can't get enough of them it's um one of my best ever things and like i say the way i've got it set up in the back of this motorhome it's been so nice and versatile and handy and uh what i'm gonna do, actually do i just um so the next thing um power stations yeah so we just done the, this little look at this one little, uh, sand foy that we've been looking at and having a bit of a play around with and uh like i say with us we we're kind of like um doing sort of like testing all the way you know we sort of like take it with us see what maps out with us um and we're not great users of these power banks in all honesty but i find for me these power banks are just so handy for your computer equipment and photography equipment that's the big trusty thing with me although now um i've just started thinking about like the summer and uh, i've actually been looking at a smaller uh, maybe a 12 volt um like cooler kind of like maybe like a fridge bag um that i can take maybe to the beach a little bit so i want to take my ice creams and my cold drinks and i want to take a little bit of ham and some cheese down to the beach and um so i need some way of like powering that so these little beasties i'm looking to do that later on and uh, it will be just handy to see if we can um, utilize one of these when um when we get down on the beach and um have it ticking away with your fridge going it will be pretty good i think what i'm going to quickly do is i'm going to shut that down so that's snapped so i've got the um cigarette lighter style end on this plugged into the back of this fridge and uh, what we're going to do is just going to plug it in to this one okay like that and then we'll just turn it on hit the button for three seconds and then turn on the power source and there we go shit 
she is away. So that's... Uh, so, again, um, if I'm off-grid, if I've not got electric hookup, um, this is where um, I, I can still uh, retain my power and my leisure batteries that I've got in here in the motorhome and if I want to sit this outside um, sit my fridge outside when you're el doing a bit of el fresco and um, yeah it's going to be so versatile for that you know and these fridges absolutely I normally uh, let's, let's whack it down a bit further let's whack it down to there you go minus 20 so it will there we go, minus 20, yeah. So basically, it will chill down. He's, he's on uh, 14 at the moment, so it'll, it'll take a while to get down there. But, um, oh yeah, it's starting, starting already to get, get chilled. That is neat. And uh, you've got the little um, light in there as well, look. So guys, the other thing I was going to mention is the fact that my bagler has actually got power oak on it. Um, so there's power oak, there's jackery, uh, there's um, total, this is total cool. And uh, we, we, there's so many power banks available. And uh, basically it's just getting, uh, and well, the thing is, this one is identical to power, the little tiny bluetti, the power oak, they're all jackery, they're, they're just similar. This is very jackery looking, this one here, like, you know what I mean? And uh, basically, the way I look at it is, you know, I, I don't know, it's um, um, originally when I was looking for a fridge, we was looking at a Dometic, which yes, a Dometic fridge is super expensive. And uh, you have got the, you know, there is that difference in quality, um, but um, between this one and the Dometic fridge is a massive amount of money. And uh, so it's kind of like, okay um, as you f may be going further on down the road um, yeah will it last longer I don't I don't, I don't know I don't um, but these ones here you know these um, power stations is you know if it does what it says it does and these seem to be all doing what they say they do um, I don't know whether anybody's um, anybody out there have had any uh, problems with a jackery with their power oak with their which is the best make I don't know but um, there is so, I'm just basically plugging my f um, freezer into this thing and uh, as long as it's power on it I've not got a problem do you know what I mean it's um and it's um yeah they all seem to be pretty pretty good you know uh, and we haven't got to an eco flow yet have we we haven't tried an eco flow yet but uh, I know every every bit I'm a, I'm a little bit laggy I um Maybe we'll uh, end up with an EcoFlow and say, oh my God, this EcoFlow is the best thing on the planet. But we're just progressing down that road of like finding out a little bit, um, going with the flow, seeing what's about. Anyway, that's enough of that, Joffy. The next thing I was going to show you guys was me. So in your fridge, in your freezer, you have your McCain fries, your home fries, all your, th your thick chips, um, all that sort of stuff, um, hash browns. Um, so the next thing I've got, yeah, we have had this air fryer since we had this motor home. So we're now heading for four years down the road and this is one of my, um, at the end of the day, we've sat out and had our fries out in the sunshine. Um, we've had our cod and chips up in the mountains. Um, like these things, are just so, I hope it's clean inside. Oh, it's not too bad, Joel. <laughs> but, um, but there you go. And uh, endless amounts of um, cooking options with an air fryer. That's one, th I'm just sort of putting out there some of the things that we we like recommend in your motorhome. It stands neat on your work surface. Uh, I do keep it 
in the original, well there's, I'm just gonna show you now, the original box, look how ragged that original box is. So I will stand it in there um, with the polystyrene and then it just disappears into my, um, into my garage. Uh, so for when I wanna use it next, um, out it comes. But look, five in one on this one, air fry, roast grill, bake, saute, and uh, yeah. Still got all the pamphlets in there, look. But um, yeah, totally, I love my air fryer. I love my chips, I love my um, chicken in there, I love my cod and my fish fingers, all that sort of swag. Um, they do give you, I will show you, <laughs> which we haven't ventured into it yet. Can you see the size? I think, that I'm, uh, so maybe, um, yeah, maybe put some old food in. I don't know whether they recommend putting a pizza in there, but um, it's gonna be pretty micro small. Um, you know, it's not gonna be uh, a massive dustbin lid or anything, but, uh, but yeah. There is the air fryer. I'll try and find the link to this one as well. I don't know if anybody's seen these bags. I, uh, I'll let it sort of like keep all my stuff like fairly tidy, keep it um, stashed. And uh, so I keep my um, little uh, power bank in that bag and then it can just sit in under the seat. Um, so that's always a, a nice one uh, with, the, yeah, with the power out. What the hell is that? Oh, we've got a bag in there as well. Yeah, another bag in there, power rope. Oh my goodness. We've got so, I've got so much stuff here. It's unbelievable. But um, yeah, recommended products from us. Definitely one of these fridges. Um, 35 litre, 45 litre, or 55 litre. I'll tag in some information and I've got um, information on this stuff. Um, in fact, I think I've got... Let's just have a look up here. I do have... Yeah, so um, I'll put the link in for Susie, our um, normal supplier of the old uh, um, coolers, transcool equipment, smart fridges, smart ice fridges, all the gear there. She's got a, she has actually got um, a 500 and a 1,000, a 2,000 watt um, generator now, power stations. So um, we'll get some information in there on that as well. And uh, that's about it for that. Yeah, so um, leave us a comment. Power stations, fridges, air fryers, which is the best one? Uh, we haven't got a clue, um, but we do know about magnetic cups. <laughs> that I'm always beating on around. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll just leave that on there. I've got my nano pad on there, like, have your coffee outside. Summer's on its way, spring, well spring's on its way, spring is on its way, it's getting on now, so uh, we're looking forward to um, getting back out in the great outdoors, not that we haven't been doing a lot of that just recently anyway, but um, okay guys, thanks for watching this video, uh, any more information that I've like left out that I normally am, um, just give us, a, give us a comment, give us a message, I'm uh, doing my usual um, Tuesday night tonight, uh, try and rip this video ultra quick, try and get out for 9 o'clock how about that there's a challenge on Joff needs to get his homework done and get going okay catch you soon guys thanks for watching bye